What's up guys, it's your boys of Wolkie back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Goose Pimples. Yes, we're not watching Goose Pimples on a Sunday because Sam and Colby are getting ready to drop their newest video on Sunday. So I want to kind of leave it for that. So instead, we're watching Goose Pimples on Friday of the 10 scary videos that'll trig trigger your hidden fears. So with that being said, grab a chair, grab some popcorn, and grab your extra pair of pants because you're about to get a paranormal punch in the face of the, the, the scary stuff that's going to trigger your fears. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom or right. Smack the bell icon next to it so I do post videos like this one. You'll get that little ring notification that's will keep myself as posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support that you guys all show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing and we'll continue to grow even more um, together. Speaking of support, check out the link in the description for Goose Pimples themselves. Go over to their channel, watch their old stuff, watch their new stuff, give them a subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever have you. Give their love some channel or give their channel some love because for all that they put together for us to enjoy, to get scared and lose ourselves in our fears, it can take a lot of work, a lot of effort, and we want to give back to them because they, they deserve it. But with that being said, let's get a video. Number 10, Under Lock and Key. Okay. Exploring haunted buildings at stupid o'clock can be an exciting idea for Still Halloween. Still don't know what time stupid o'clock is. is. Until the paranormal come out to play, Literally. as these guys would soon experience firsthand. Built in 1870, with prisoners violently forced to mine the rocks for the walls, the old Idaho penitentiary soon oh. became overcrowded, with extreme temperatures and a lack of proper plumbing or ventilation. Gross. Hundreds of souls perished behind the very walls they built, succumbing to a gruesome combination of old age, illness, and murder. With all the inhuman conditions over 30,000 inmates had to endure throughout the decades, it comes as no surprise that, that the prison has been known for paranormal activity and accounts oh, of strange man. sounds, voices, and dark entities. Of course, Josh Fletch and a group of friends discarded all the warning signs and had to sneak inside in the dead of night. Of course they but did. their spooky outing soon turned into a high-speed chase when Josh decided to be a rebel and climb to a forbidden area. And according to his naughty, own words, naughty, naughty. he got just what he deserved. Take a look. You ran into spooky ookies, didn't you? I uh, may or may not have climbed up. Because there was no stairs. Okay, I think I've seen this one before. It's at the end of the hallway, that's far right. He sees it in his face, and he gets that paranormal punch in the face. Right about now. <laughs> Bet you missed it, didn't you? Yep. In the last cell, before Josh screams bloody murder, there's the shadow of a muscular build lurking behind bars. <laughs> yeah. Could it be the spirit of Raymond Allen Snowden? A kind of looks like it. inmate known as Idaho's Jack the Ripper. Ew. He was convicted of cold-blooded murder in 1956 and sentenced to death by hanging at the notorious penitentiary. Uh. The terror lingered until the very end as the trap door snapped open, but the noose only choked him, not ending his life quickly, oh. as you can imagine. He hung there, gasping for breath for a full 15 minutes oh before finally gosh. succumbing to suffocation in a slow, torturous Ugh. death whether it was the spirit of this notorious inmate or not these guys were not sticking around oh to my find gosh out. 15 number minutes number nine the holy spirit holy spirit Alex is activate. something of a master oh. at expiration and how could he ignore the opportunity to take a tour of an abandoned nun's convent? Of course. After walking and hearing strange, echoing laughter through the long hallways, Alex realizes his camera is nearly out of juice, so he heads back home. But when he watched the footage back, he spotted something that sent a deep sense of dread scuttling up his throat. Watch. Okay. I think we've seen this one before. I can't remember. But it's super creepy, right? Right? Right there. What is that? Take a good 
long look at the open doorway in this replay. Someone is standing there. The silhouette also looks suspiciously veiled, which is incredibly spooky when you remember the video was captured in a convent. Perhaps someone wasn't quite ready to pass on just yet. Yeah. Let's hope she didn't Ooh. latch onto Alex. I hate that movie, left. dude. I, it's Number good, eight. but I hate it. <laughs> we have company. No manner of years watching those spooky backroom videos could have prepared you for this next clip. This guy had a job searching for a leak around an urgent care center that had been abandoned a few months prior. He had no idea why everyone left so suddenly. That is, until he delved further into the building and heard some things that made him feel as though he wasn't the only one tiptoeing around. Like what? Let's watch. Okay. Another bathroom. Oh, hell no, you don't see me. Uh, this is a second uh, two story building. This used to be the elevator shaft right here. Oh, don't look up. I guess we're taking the stairs. I guess meditation class used to be upstairs. Had to put your shoes in this little cubby. Oh, please don't see nothing. The footage I hate that sound. Abruptly as he tried to compose himself after hearing someone or something oh, bolting down the stairs right in front of his eyes when clearly there was no one to be seen. He grew some balls and went upstairs <laughs> to film the meditation room, but it didn't look like he no-clipped into level one. After some further investigation, uh, there's no one else in this building. I heard her someone pants. go down those stairs, though. So, and yet he's still I guess there. This was the meditation room. There's a lot of natural lighting in here. I don't, probably don't need the flashlight right now. Here's the top of the elevator shaft. You can't see anything down there. I'm expecting to see a face or something. So here's the meditation room. Kind of looks like the back rooms. Kind of. It looks very culty. The stage up here looks like a couple of altars next to them. Creepy. Okay, now I'm getting the f out of here. Yeah, he's done. He's done. That was it. <laughs> was it a bit of fancy footwork? Or a real living nightmare. What do you guys think? Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Let us know what you think. I can't tell if it's his section. voice. Oh man. I promise. This will be my last trip. This is a good game. Yes, Aiden. Oh. I promise. I've played this game before. It's super good, super creepy. What are we watching? Is this a sponsor? Oh! The Voidness. Ooh, I might have to play that. Number that might seven. be a new one. Here in my car. I might have to try that. When you're driving late at night for long periods, your vision can end up a little bit distorted. At least that's what this guy thought while he was cruising down a highway in Mexico. While thinking he should have taken the advice from the don't drive when you're tired sign a couple of miles back, he saw something on the side of the road that made him do a double take. Should have just left it there. Oh, it's that one girl that's running with her arms Someone's open? Someone's in a rush. It took some time to properly figure out what the like hell that her, thing could be. Her holding her hands but if like you this. look closely, a dress billowing around her and it's legging it. He couldn't figure out if he had actually seen that yes, or you did. if his eyes were deluding him. Could this be somebody taking a shortcut on their walk back from a I night out or something so. a little more sinister? sinister? Number six, 
run for the hills. I'm trying. These girls found out the hard way that those old urban legends are more terrifying than you could ever imagine. Okay. They decided to pay a nightly visit to their old, abandoned, and supposedly haunted school to see if the legend was true. Apparently, if you knock on the nurse's door, something will knock back. But they didn't get a knock back. They got something much worse. I've seen these movies. They don't make it. Just knock on it, knock. These girls are freaked out knock, more than go. ever. Knock harder. Let them know. <laughs> Let them. <laughs> A woman can be heard oh. screaming the words, get out, Gosh, from the other side of the chills. door. Whether paranormal or not, one thing's for sure. We'll never see any of these girls outside after bedtime again. Probably not. Number five. Ugh. One of us is lying. Not me. The dark can lead your mind to some truly spooky places. That is true. Especially when you're traipsing around a pitch black, barren corridor in search of poltergeist activity. Or you see things that these are not there. These guys were just trying to explore an urban area for a video. But among the cool graffiti and crumbling walls, Something else seemed to make itself at home there. Uh -oh. Something nobody can explain. Take a look. Okay. We're looking. I have chills already. Oh, what was that? Looks like I crawl out of the floor. Wow! Oh, what? Was some kind of transparent figure rising from the floor. The group decided not to try their luck by sticking you around see the face? and go bolting out of there. But as their feet slammed against concrete, there was something else lurking within their group. Watch. Bet you missed it at first. No, I saw. Oh, but right. let's slow it down. Oh, I have chills. Right, 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 right there. Oh. That's one creepy face. If you're thinking rationally, you could say it's just a blurry shot of one of the women in the group. But there were no women there in were the group. Just men. So who the hell is was that? that? Number four, portals. It even looks like a drawing. There are so many stories about <gasps> bad experiences with Ouija boards out there, yet somehow people keep playing with them. Don't. Catalin got one from Amazon out of sheer curiosity. She already knew the board was bad news, bad but she Karen. never expected the terrifying experiences she was about to go through at night when she was the only one home. Watch. Did you play by yourself? Stay in the bed. Stay in the bed. Stay in the bed. Bad Karen. What's that sound? What the hell is that? Oh, please don't peek. Please don't peek. Please don't peek. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Yep. Get in there. Cover your eyes. Go to bed. Then you like this. Please tell me you're the only one home. You're not home. It's gonna slam open, isn't it? Oh, it's jiggling. It's jiggling the handle. Housekeeping. What's in that door? Oh, oh, both of them at the same time. There's orbs everywhere. Dust particles. Ah! <laughs> Part three. I can't see anything. Oh, hell no. What does she got in her hand?
Does she have a golf club? Oh. Mamma mia. Is there anything there? I don't want to get close to the screen because then it's going to jump about me and scream. Oh! What the hell were those sounds at the bottom oh. of the stairs? And how did the knocking change from one door to another so fast? Unless she so had heavy. about five friends hiding off camera, there's something seriously spooky living in that flat. I mean, it's possible, but She still. also explained that her friends wanted to take the board to an abandoned building, but when she went to grab it, it had vanished out the back of her wardrobe. That's probably a good putting thing. it out of sight and mind for a year and a half and not connecting the scary experiences with the board, she kind of forgot it existed. Good. But while she was moving out of her old apartment, she found it, she found it again. Oh my gosh. Completely spotless, while everything surrounding it was covered in dust. Spooky, isn't it? Number three, Bat Cave. If and you've been watching us for a while, you'll be well versed into the terrifying <laughs> reality of caving. We have featured a few videos of claustrophobic no cave expeditions that would strike fear into the heart of even the bravest person. Guilty. But sometimes, the scariest thing isn't the impossibly narrow passageways. It's the fact that somebody might have found that part of the dark cave before you. Oh, While on a hike with his dog, this guy decided to investigate the seemingly isolated stone walls. After spotting some bugs and some bats flying around, he stepped further into the cave until he spotted something that sent a chill down his spine. I think I've seen this before. It looks like a guy from the uh, Nosebratu. Like, it looks like a vampire-ish kind of character. Stay behind me. And the dog goes up. It's creepy though. Don't get me wrong. I could not do this by myself though. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. There what you the are. That? Yeah, what is that? Son of a biscuit. Who the flip are you? Yep. That's oh, shit. Yep. I would not turn around. I'd back up. So I'd be scared of like I could get attacked. It's blurry, but if you look closely and turn the brightness up, you can see what looks like a person draped in a black cloak. Luckily, the guy and his dog managed to get themselves out of there. <laughs> Apparently, the police were called and shown that video, but nothing has come from it just yet. Okay. What do you think this was? A paranormal entity, a cult, or something else? Can I say D all the Let above? Let us know in the comment section. Number two, break in. Which is scarier, a poltergeist roaming free in your house or a possible break in? Probably the latter, which Let's is why the lady in this next clip both? called the police to her property after she went shopping and returned to an open door. The police went in to investigate, expecting Nothing. someone trying their luck at a burglary, but what they actually found left them trembling. Uh -oh. Take a look. Does anyone live in the house? Yes, um, my husband, myself, and our two kids, but they're out of town right now. They're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right, uh, we're gonna have to go and search the house. Is it okay if we go in? Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any like pets or. So it's just her right now. Is this the one where we saw where they went and just stay here, man? And he was like clearing the rooms and like doors starting to open up. I feel like I need a pay raise or I'm quitting. Police, if make anyone's here, make yourself known. And these guys aren't going to sit here and make this video fake because they got better things to do besides screw around and make ghost videos. They're actually working. These are body Anyone cams. inside? I don't think this is fake, dude.
Police. Anyone inside, make yourself known. Light that freaking room up. <laughs> this footage was released after the officers claimed the house was haunted. And boy, can we see why. I wonder what, what he felt, though. Because the other guy's downstairs doing his sweeps, and this guy's up here by himself. Then somebody said this was like a, not a bed and breakfast, but like a getaway how, home. I would take the rest of the day off. Some commenters seem a bit skeptical of this video, asking why the lights weren't turned on and why there were no clothes in the closets. But there are explanations. Because I heard it was like this. a bed and breakfast. The They're home is used as an Airbnb quite yeah. a lot, See, and the children, it... father, and pets were out of town that day, so most of the stuff wasn't there at the time of filming. Airbnb. So they're not going to have stuff there. It's it's open to be rented. Gotta go. Get out of there. He's like, yeah, I'm done. How do you, like, give that footage to your, like, sergeant? Like, hey, the house we just went to, I'm not, yeah. Upstairs clear? Yeah. We're, yeah, we're good. And the officers left the lights off because the changing lighting would leave their eyes to adjust for a few seconds, which would make them more susceptible to an attack. True. But no one seemed to be talking about the fact that so many doors seemed to open on their own with nothing behind them. And nobody has really mentioned the figure you can barely make out oh. standing in the doorway to the bedroom when the officer is backing off down the stairs. I didn't see that What do you come think out. this is? A break-in that ended with a quick getaway or something a little more paranormal? I'd say Let paranormal. Let us know your thoughts. Yes, I want to know your Found a scary thoughts. video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to it's get a notification free. for all our new scary compilations. Number 1. Tunnel Vision Bonus clip? Tunnels tend to trigger claustrophobia and paranoia in quite a few that people. That wouldn't mind. You can blame horror movies for that. Pretty much. But for some reason, this guy didn't get the memo and thought it would be a great idea to investigate a strange noise emanating out of the cylinder. Just leave he it didn't alone. didn't spend too long in there, though, because something was waiting for him. Mm. If you don't believe in skinwalkers, maybe you will after this. Take a look. Don't you have, like, Netflix to go watch or something? Why is he inside here? Sounds like he's wearing flip-flops. What the hell? Hello? Don't go towards it! <laughs> yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Bro, you need to be running faster. What kind of creature was that? It definitely wasn't an animal, but it also doesn't look human. Whatever it is, it's definitely not oh. as terrifying as this compilation full of creepy no stuff bonus. on camera. Man. Perfect for you to watch next. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Stay hey. in, in the, the dark. dark. Another great one by Goose Pimples. I definitely so excited about that one. It definitely was really good. No, we're not watching you yet, okay? But with that being said, for the one that we just watched of Goose Pimples, make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know if you guys thought these were real fake fact fiction. Whatever have you. Don't forget to subscribe because it helps out the channel immensely. It's free to do. There's tons to enjoy. 
Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.